let's make it bigger. Today's story is number 34. Life has a purpose. Some people declare that the purpose of life is to continue searching until you die. While better than a flat denial of any purpose in life, this amounts to a statement that we must spend our lives seeking the truth but never knowing it. Why go on seeking something that can never be found? To devote one's life to a search doomed to failure would be nothing short of a tragedy. Okay, let's read it again. Life has a purpose. Some people declare that the purpose of life is to continue searching until you die. While better than a flat denial of any purpose in life, this amounts to a statement that we must spend our lives seeking the truth but never knowing it. Why go on seeking something that can never be found? To devote one's life to a search doomed to failure would be nothing short of a tragedy. Okay, very good. Uh, yeah, many people, when they think about life's purpose, whether it's happiness or finding the truth, um, some people kind of uh, give up their hope that uh, actually, I was one of those people myself in my 20s that, you know, truth is beyond us humans. How can we know what truth is? So maybe until we die, we will never find out. So right then I was about to kind of give up. That's how I found, that's when I found Buddhism. And uh, Buddhism shows us the path that has a point of completion. That means the time will come when we will be able to obtain, discover and obtain the truth and true happiness. It's not a search. Buddhism is not a search um, that has no point of completion. That is just keep seeking and seeking and seeking, seeking until death. I was going to say seeking until we sink into death. So it's like Buddhism is not such a path. Um, because if you think about it, such a path actually, yeah, when I learned from Buddhism, a path that has no point of completion is nothing short of a tragedy. Already I felt a heavy burden off my shoulder. Yeah, I think a lot of time we feel life weighs us down a lot because uh, we keep searching searching and searching. Living itself means we are constantly searching for happiness, easing our pain and suffering. So if we can never reach um, the pinnacle of it, the point of completion, when we obtain what we were looking for, uh, if there is no such a process, then uh, we just feel weighed down. It's like you know, you want to uh, get accepted by a university, so you study hard, you study hard, you fail at one year, second year, you fail, but you don't want to give up. You study harder, you talk to different people and professors and find the way. Finally, when you pass it, you realize this was worthwhile. This is why I came all the way here. I'm glad that I went through this. I mean, if it's... <laughs> If it match, if the university matched your expectations. Yeah. But if we keep seeking for something and we could never find it, that's like devastating. It feels exhausting. Uh, it makes people question the value of their search. And, and some people give up in the middle. They check out of life. They're like, no, thank you. Um, if I can never obtain this, why bother? That kind of mentality. They develop apathy. And uh, yeah, so... Yeah, so people who say life is just uh, seeking until death, just keep seeking. Um, yeah, and 
in a sense, what they are claiming is that we can seek the truth. It says we must spend our life seeking the truth, but never knowing what the truth is. Yeah, Buddha uh, says no. We can obtain the truth. That's what enlightenment is all about. If we don't know who we are, if we don't understand our life and our sufferings through and through, yeah, we feel at a loss. We don't know what the truth is. But listening to the Dharma, little by little, we become aware of this truth, you know, the truth of impermanence and the truth of causality, cause and effect, and the truth that there is a happiness that is not relative. It's not of relative nature. It is complete. It's the joy, unconditional joy. I'm so glad to be alive regardless of what I have and what I don't have. Uh, that's what Buddha, Buddhism teaches us to be our life's purpose. Okay, very good. So good job everyone for being here, um, practicing together going forward. And today is Tuesday, so have a wonderful Tuesday. Oh, we're gonna have the Q&A session tonight. Uh, 6 p.m. Pacific time, and yeah, have a wonderful Tuesday. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Gary.